hey, I have to make an observation. First of all, sad that Mike Tirico is leaving ESPN for NBC, but NBC gets a great, great top flight announcer to lead their Olympics broadcast as well as their 30, Thursday night football NFL broadcasts for the future. Now, Sean McDonough replacing him? I just can't get my mind around that one. First of all, he is the baseball Red Sox announcer. Has he ever done football before? And I know that some of you might say, well, hey, a good announcer, a good sports announcer is a good multi-sport announcer, like Tariko. But, well, we'll see with Madonna. I, I have to hear how he works with or see, excuse me, see and hear how he works with John Gruden and what they do with the telecast for Monday Night Football. I don't know. And then Ray Lewis is out as well as Chris Carter, both out of ESPN, and they're going to bring in Randy Moss. Randy Moss is a smart man, period. And he was made for media, but also, as Bill Belichick pointed out, he knows football. I think Randy Moss should be that third person on the Monday night on the Monday night football broadcasts. You know what they used to have three people in the booth? I think they ought to he, they ought to put him in as the third person, he being Randy Moss. I think that'll be a great, great addition. Give some really excellent, knowledgeable color to a broadcast that I think will be lacking with Sean McDonough. Just saying. Just saying. So that's my observation. What do you think about the changes that changes that are going on with ESPN? It's not a ratings issue. It's just a matter of changes in contracts and personal desires like Mike Tirico's desire to go to NBC for more money. Can't say I blame him there. ESPN still scores high in the ratings. Their 18 to 49 year old demographic poll is still the most powerful in industry in the cable primetime area with the exception of Fox News. So, and might I might add, ESPN's website is clocking in at 71 million unique visitors per month on the average, not bad. So again, ESPN isn't hurting. This isn't gonna wreck ESPN, it's just change at the top.